Um, okay. <laughs> Hi guys, um, my name is Julianne, and I wrote a song about organic chemistry and nomenclature, and because I clearly don't have anything better to do with my time, I thought I would share it with you guys. So, um, here it is. It's called You're Beautiful, and it goes like this. For nomenclature, gotta be sure that you can name Hydrocarbons like methylpropupen and hexane The longest line containing carbons is the parent chain And usually it is drawn within the paper's plane Oh, that's assuming we're not showing stereochemistry Which is shown on either line or wedge or dash It's really not that hard, remember carbon has four bonds So they're facing side to side and to the front and to the back Start counting from the side with the most substituents And if you have a tie, atomic number breaks balance Put the number in front of the prefix with the hyphen Keep going until the name is too long for your liking I-U-P-A-C That's the name I-U-P-A-C Of the organic chem game I-U-P-A-C You can get this I-U-P-A-C You're an organic chemist Don't forget carbons like Ted rule It can't go beyond Four electron pals or else it shares them double triple bonds If you go higher than alkane That bond is factored in the name Remember ein for triple line And ever double bond like an equal sign Iso means the second to last carbon of a molecule is bonded to another carbon. Now, here's a helpful tool. Terputyl and neopental almost look the same, except neopental has one more CH3, that's methane. Neo means the penultimate carbon is a whore, because Iso's got just one carbon, but Neo's got one more. That means a branch of three usually sticks out a Neo. Neopental looks like ethane with the methyl trio. IUPAC, that's the name, IUPAC. Of the organic chem game IUPAC You can get this IUPAC You're an organic chemist The first carbon connected to two other carbons next What's the prefix designating that I'll tell you in a sec Turd is similar except connected to three other carbons Now that's all the common prefixes you need I know that it seems complicated but you'll get good at this All IUPAC really needs is lots and lots of practice Hope you guys like it, good luck studying